Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Potter with you again, Adobe Certified Expert and owner of the Rocket Banner Company, here to showcase some more of the capabilities of Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. And today's discussion is about the pen tool in Adobe Photoshop and how we use that to create masks. And here it is, folks. Bottom line is you can forget about these other manual masking tools, the lasso tool, so on and so forth. Forget them. Throw them away. Learn to use the pen tool and you'll be light years ahead. Granted, it's more difficult to use. Takes a lot of practice, but nothing compares to the precision and the editability, editability of drawing vector-based paths as opposed to drawing selection outlines outright. Now, you can take these vector-based paths that you draw with a pen tool and convert them into selection outlines. It's a wonderful masking tool. So now with that said, let's get started with a little bit of practice. If you download this exercise file here from our website, it's called pentoolstart.psd. What we're going to do is we're going to practice a little bit with a pen tool just by drawing this leaf here. And after we get that done, we're going to mask out this I think it's a Toyota Prius, but uh, anyway, we're going to mask out this car here and then move it into another image. So it'll be a good exercise for you on the capabilities of the pen tool. Okay, let's get started. You're going to find that the pen tool is really very easy to use once you get the hang of it. It just takes practice, and with a little bit of practice, you'll you'll find that you can work very fast with the pen tool. Let's go to the Paths palette and deselect this shape layer right here to get rid of that outline so we can begin work. Come over here and select the pen tool if it's not already selected. Then come up here and make sure that you're drawing paths, not shape layers. Okay, so you want to highlight this icon right here. Now, let's zoom into the stem of this leaf right here. And the easiest way to do that is hit the control and space bar simultaneously. Hold them down. You can see the pen tool on the fly, excuse me, the zoom tool on the fly and then marquee around the area that you want to zoom into. And here we are. Now let's lay down our first point. And you can see the pen tool's got a little X by it. That means we're going to be laying down a fresh path when we click. Okay? And there's our first point. And that's our active point. You can tell because that little square is filled in. Let's come up here and lay down another point. You see there's no longer an X by the pen tool, which means it's going to lay down a point and draw a line segment between the two points. And there you go. There's our first line segment. And that goes directly between these two points. These are two corner points. Let's continue. Let me zoom out a couple levels here. Let me uh, hold down the space bar. And that gives you the um, pan tool on the fly. It lets you pan around in your image. Now, if I were to click right here again, without dragging, I'm laying down another corner point and a straight line segment between these two points. I don't want to do that. I want to follow this curve. Let me back up a step. Hit Control Z. This time I'm going to click and drag. And When I do that I'm pulling out two control handles and creating a bezier curve. Okay. Let me release and continue. I'm going to go all the way up here to the top of the leaf. Click and drag. Okay, and you can see right here I wasn't able to follow that path completely. So what I'm going to do, I like to fix errors that I see immediately when I catch them. And so to do that, what I'm going to have to do is influence this control handle right here. To do that, hit the control key and you're going to get the white arrow tool. And then just click on this control handle and move it around. Pull that path up. All right. There you go. Let's go back to work. You can see this point is still active, so wherever I click, I'm going to be drawing out of that point. All right? But let me show you something. This control handle coming out here means it's going to influence the path out in that direction. If I were to click down here and drag, you can see that's not the result that I'm looking for. Let me back up by hitting control Z. What we have to do is get rid of this control handle. And to do that, Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click right here, and we're going to convert that to a, con a uh, corner point. Okay? Now let's continue. Click and drag. 
Uh, let me show you something. Let me get rid of that. If you were to say click and drag from here, well, what happened is you chose the wrong point. Okay, that's too far away. All right. If you do that, just hit Control Z and try again until you find a point that works. You can always go back and add points. Also, folks, I'll, let me show you how easy that is. You can see you you clicked in the wrong place. That's not going to work for you. You can come back here and click. You see the little plus by the pen tool? That means I'm going to add a anchor point right there. Let me just click. Don't click and drag. Just click. All right. Then press the control key. It gives me the white arrow tool. Now I can move that point into position and I can also move the control handles with that white arrow tool. And there you go. Now if I were to click and drag I'd be drawing a point from the active control point. So I want to go back and click here. That'll make that the active control point and I can continue. I'm going to hit Control Z. I drew that too close. Let's go down here. Much better. Zoom in. I'm just drawing straight points. And now I'm going to close the path right here. This is where I started. You can see the little O by the pen tool. That means you're about to close the path. So click and there we go. There's our closed path. Now let's go back and inspect it a little bit. Maybe we can clean it up a little bit. You can see we're getting off a little bit right here. How do you want to fix that? Well, first of all, while we're working on um, uh, modifying this path, you've got to select it. Okay, so get the black arrow tool, click on the path, and now you can see your control points. Let's go ahead and hold down the control key to get the white arrow tool. Let's click here and let's adjust this control handle slightly. Let's move this point slightly. We're going to have to add a point right here, folks. So let's get the pen tool and let's just click right here. Let's get the white arrow tool by holding down the control key and let's move that point in. Okay. This one, let's see. I'm going to need to add a control point here. It's all a question of how precise do you want to be, but you can follow that line as close as you want. Just panning around by holding down the space bar. Getting the white arrow tool by holding down the control key. And there you are. Okay. There you have it, folks. Now, in the next half of this lesson, we're going to really get to work on creating a, um, a um, path and then a selection outline of this. I think it's a Prius, okay? Okay, folks, while I was on break, I went ahead and deleted that uh, leaf that we were working on earlier. You can see the paths palette is empty now. It leaves us to work on this Toyota Prius unencumbered. Okay, so let's draw a mask with the pen tool. Let me zoom in a little bit more, and let me grab the pen tool here. And this time when I lay down my first point, I'm not going to just click. I'm going to click and drag because I want to start out with a smooth point. And the reason for that is I'm drawing on a curve right now so I need to start out with a smooth point so let's click and drag a little bit like that right along the curve you can see we started a new work path here let me zoom in a little bit more alright let me click and drag from right here and let's go ahead and fix this right now 